Hello, in this video I am going to talk about the fire protection for the steel structure. There are three ways which are used to provide the fire protection for steel structure. The first way is using the gypsum board and the gypsum boards are used when we have residential building or office building and in this building there are partitions and ceiling and then you can utilize gypsum board around the steel structure or steel members to provide the fire protection. Now the thickness of the gypsum board around these members will determine the fire rating of the structure or the fire resistance of the structure. If you have a building which doesn't have a ceiling or partition walls, like for example industrial building like as you have in this picture, this is, was one of our projects here in the office and the, the use of the uh, fire protection material was the cementitious material and these materials are sprayed over the steel members and now we have three ch checks which should be carried out to find out that the cementitious material is in, in a good condition. The first test is the adhesion of the cementitious material and the steel member. The second test will be the thickness of this material itself and the third test will be the density of the material and that means we, the, we have to check that the component of the cementitious materials were, were right and they gave us the right density as per the manufacturer. Now this, this uh, material can be used in industrial building or in parking garage and even if we think about uh, applying uh, ceiling or partitions, it will not work because of the use of the building will, will create cracks in the partitions and the best way to provide fire protection for these structures will be cementitious material, which is economical too. Now, if this building are exposed and it should look nice from the architectural point of view and the interior designer wants to have a nice building, such as in library or in uh, uh, universities or in airport, then we have to use the intermittent paint. And in this picture, you can see the applying of the intermittent paint on the steel member. And in the other picture here, the final product after applying the intermittent paint. And these two pictures are taken from reference from in the CISC in Canada. They have a PDF reference. It talks about the exposed structural steel. It's very interesting topic and I'm recommending everybody to download it and read through it. Now, in a nutshell, we have three ways to provide fire protection for the steel structure. The use of gypsum board and that can be applied in residential building or in, in uh, office building. The use of cementitious material that's in industrial building or parking garages and intermittent paint that can be used in when the structural steel are exposed, such as library and airport and so on. Thank you.